In this example video, we will be demonstrating how to redact audio from a video in the Canvas Spotlight. We'll begin by advancing our video to the point where we want to begin our audio redaction. And then in order to mark that point in our audio layer, we're going to come over to our audio layer section, click on our white uh, key, add keyframe button, and it now adds a keyframe into our audio layer right at the point where we want our audio uh, redaction to begin. We're going to come over here to our uh, spotlight properties for this uh, audio redaction. You can see we have a couple, uh, we have three different effect types that we can use for this audio redaction. The first is a mute, which completely mutes the audio in the section that we select. Uh, the next option is a beep, which will add a loud beeping noise to the audio in the selection that we select. Uh, and then the final option is a resample option, which will modulate uh, the audio in the section uh, that we select. We'll begin with the mute. Um, as you can see uh, here, uh, we've, uh, we haven't selected an endpoint, uh, so it's, if, we were, if we did nothing else, it would actually mute the audio from this point to the end of the video, but we only want to mute the audio for a portion for this uh, example, so we'll select this as our endpoint, come over, add a keyframe there to, to mark that as our endpoint, and then to, uh, to remove the audio reaction from uh, that point going to the end, we'll come over here to our property section, and unselect our active property. So now we've just selected uh, one section of our audio uh, layer that we want to redact. And again, we're using the mute effects. We'll go ahead and play this and see how this affects the audio track. So you can see how it uh, completely mutes the audio in that section. Next, we're going to show, uh, demonstrate the beat option. Go ahead and play this again. And then lastly, we'll go ahead and change our effect type to a resample, which will modulate the audio, kind of mask the speaker's voice. We'll go ahead and play that now. You can see it adds a little subtle variation uh, to his voice to, to disguise his voice. And again, that can be useful where maybe you don't want to redact the audio, you just want to uh, perhaps uh, assist in disguising the person's voice uh, to protect their identity, uh, but to still understand what they're saying. And that's it. That's uh, the real simple way to uh, redact audio in kind of spotlight. And again, you can go and add uh, you know additional sections utilizing uh, the same sort of method of adding a keyframe and then a second keyframe and then turning the active property off. And now we've uh, now redacted a second portion of the audio and we can repeat this uh, any number of times throughout the audio layer for each uh, section that we uh, may need to redact uh, the audio.